One day, Mary was tidying up the area around her husband's grave when she noticed something rather unsettling. There was an odd-looking hole on the ground next to his tomb. She thought about what it may be for a while before deciding to take a risk. She was absolutely taken aback by what occurred next. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. For Mary to skip her husband's burial site for over a month was not out of the ordinary. Since they had never been wealthy, their top focus was their work. It was difficult to see him too, as he had asked to be buried upstate with his family at an ancient cemetery, but she nevertheless made an effort. She had loved him so very much after all. She was lucky enough to have Mondays free from her job at the restaurant, so she would frequently take advantage of the chance to go there. She went to Henry's burial in upstate New York one Monday. Fall was setting in and it was chilly and overcast. She felt embarrassed as soon as she saw his headstone. There were some awful looking weeds and horribly overgrown grass. Henry's gravestone appeared disorganized in comparison to the rest of the headstones. Tons of leaves from the tree above, which overhung, covered the lawn. Cleaning up the area would undoubtedly require some labor, but Mary was fine with that. She was well-versed in the bus schedule. When she was finished that afternoon, she would just board the final bus. She then set her luggage down, got out her gardening supplies, and started tidying up the space. She began by raking leaves from the area. She spotted the odd-looking hole while gathering the bunch near his grave. When she looked more closely, she saw that it was really deep. She was certain that it was likely just as deep as the grave itself. It was also not little. The hole's opening was very large. A feeling of terror swiftly replaced the initial interest about what may be inside the hole. She didn't like how near the hole was to the headstone. She was actually concerned that it could be approaching his casket a little too closely. She found the caretaker of the cemetery and explained her concerns to him. After giving her a quick glance, he dismissed her, stating that it was probably nothing. He reassured her that he looked after the graves to the best of his ability and that nothing could upset the buried persons who were loved ones. Mary was not particularly persuaded by this, nor by the status of the cemetery per se. It was hard for her to accept that this man was handling everything as best he could. Not only that, but she was unable to dismiss the strange emotion she was experiencing. Her discomfort stemmed from something in the whole circumstance. She made the decision to contact her son to get his opinion. Her son seemed to think she was insane right away. He instructed her to accomplish what she had come for, to quit fussing over the monument, and to go. He even said that his father would not have approved of her worrying about something as trivial as a hole in the ground. Mary sat gazing at the hole for a long time, feeling wounded and insulted. She was aware that her son was most likely correct about what her spouse would believe. However, she knew her husband would have looked into the matter if he were in her position. She made the decision to follow her instincts after getting up. She stole a spade covertly from the rear of the custodian's tool shed. Not that it shocked her much, but he was nowhere to be seen. Then, with haste, she returned to the grave and dug where the hole was. This was no mean task for a petite, weak woman like her. She began picking at the hole with the corner of the large shovel, hoping to induce some movement to the earth, but she was unable to loosen the hard dirt sufficiently to draw it all up. She was suddenly accosted by an old guy standing behind her. He yelled at her, perplexed as to what in the world she was doing. She was taking her time to respond, trying to explain as nicely as she could that she was looking into where the hole went since she was a little ashamed and concerned about what the man may think. She was pleasantly pleased by what transpired next. The man became interested in helping her as soon as he heard what she was attempting to do. He playfully admitted that, looking back, he should have looked into a suspicious hole instead of assuming she was up to do illegal. He didn't want anything to happen to his late wife, who was buried there. It was much simpler for him to open up the hole in the ground since he was stronger and more agile than Mary. He repeatedly drove the spade into the ground, lifting the soil with it. Mary nervously peered behind them to see what was underneath. Initially, it was difficult to make out exactly what was happening with all the shifting dirt, but suddenly the spade gave way under a forceful blow. Mary felt a knot in her throat as her stomach rose. That sounded nothing like it. Has he just struck her spouse's casket? 
The man obviously thought the same thing, since he abruptly stopped digging. Trying to see if he could see what he had just hit, he stood back. It turned out that a casket was peeking out far more shallowly than it should have. The opening had led directly to Henry's coffin, the wooden side of which appeared to have a huge hole in it. Mary instantly thought of the worst-case scenario. She was certain that this was exactly like a recent story she had heard about tomb thieves who stole the deceased in order to make some wooden objects. These kinds of exchanges were commonplace on the illicit market. She told the man to stop because she was afraid of what she would witness. Then, after giving a brief explanation of what they had discovered, she phoned the police. They arrived on time and got to work looking into it. To raise the coffin, a bulldozer had to be called in. Mary, understandably, was feeling rather stressed. She had no intention of bringing up her spouse after burying him, much less a year later. The coffin had a hole in the side that was clearly visible when they lifted it, yet something about its form seemed wrong. Upon closer inspection, the cops discovered something shocking about the edging. To be sure, they called in a professional without saying anything to Mary. He was able to immediately verify their notion once he arrived. It turned out that Henry's coffin had been chewed through by some kind of bothersome rodent that had been digging a hole around his burial. This occurred for two reasons. First, because to financial constraints, Henry was buried by the family in a very basic wood coffin. That wasn't nearly as sinister as the second. The expert concluded that, in terms of how the coffin was interred, the cemetery had been skimping on protocol. To assist stop this kind of sacrilege, the burial was supposed to be much deeper and have a better seal. Mary could hardly have said anything when they told her what had happened to Henry's coffin and her husband's remains. She was aware that something was off. She collapsed instantly, unable to move. Her poor corpse had endured so much anguish, all because of the cemetery's careless employees. Fortunately, the man who had helped her went with her to the police station so she could file a complaint about the disgusting treatment her husband's bones had endured during his burial. She was appalled that this had ever occurred at all, but she was also relieved that she had been able to visit his grave at the appropriate time to end it. She promised to use the money from her lawsuit to provide Henry with a dignified second burial when the inquiry was over. She wanted to be sure he was sent out in the proper manner, and she would bury him nearer to her house the next time so she could pay him a visit. It only goes to show that following one's instincts and working with the right people pay off in the end. Just think of how awful Mary must have felt. If you had seen the whole, how would you have responded? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.